So why does ACA do PBIS? Well, when PBIS was brought into the school a few years back, this program was presented as something that could really help create a positive school climate and culture. And that is what I have seen happen as this program has been integrated within our ACA community. Students understand what the values are, what the expectations are, and there is a lot less of a need for negative interactions um, and correcting of students. Not saying it doesn't happen still because we all teach, we all have been counselors or administrators. There's, we're humans working with other humans, negative interactions can happen. But they, with the implementation of PBIS, those interactions that are not so positive have been truly minimized. And so this is why ACA has brought in this uh, set of behavioral supports. So, but the other reason why PBIS has been brought in within the ACA community is that it provides all staff with a common vision, common set of ex expectations, and a common language to teach students. At this point within ACA, unless you are receiving a student who is brand new to ACA, you should be receiving a student that understands those four core values, which are coming ahead, um, and they understand the ex what is expected of them. Very uh, generally, in the classroom, in hallways, in the cafeteria, on the playground, anywhere in the school. Now, you as a teacher have the ability to tailor specific things about your classroom and how you'd like it to run, but overall, PBIS provides this great framework of supports to where students are going from each grade level through the system of ACA, each classroom, regardless of the subject, and there is a clear and common set of expectations and common language that those students will understand. And that really helps us at, as teachers at ACA be able to have a more clear um, collection of how to get our students on track more quickly and more efficiently. So in a traditional school, um, at grade one, the teacher is going to set, set you know, their own set of norms, rules, and positive supports. In grade two, that might like look a, di a little bit different. Grade three, a little bit different. Grade four, lots of, it could be lots of positive supports and not a lot of rules. Each teacher has their own vision of how their classroom behavior plan is going to appear. Um, and there's a running continuum of school-wide positive supports as well that could also look different in each classroom. And that's a, at a traditional school. With PBIS, these things are clear, clear sets of expectations clear sets of rules, clear sets of positive supports, along with those school-wide positive supports. And that is going to look very much the same in every single grade. So there is a lot less time being spent on those types of conversations with the students. Now, after PBIS has been in at ACA for the last few years, of course, every year, beginning of the year, mid midpoint in the year at the semester break, what have you, there's going to be a review of these expectations, rules, and positive supports. But overall, a student should be able to understand those sets of expectation, rules, and positive supports in grade one. And still, by the time they reach that grade four point, still understand that those things are pretty much the same. And so they walk into your classroom on day one 
already understanding what is expected of them.